Ultimate team of the season is finally here in FIFA 22 and 1 million coins will stretch further than ever due to the market dropping. Which is why in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways and trading methods to help go from 0 coins all the way up to 1 million coins as quick as possible. I'll be taking you guys through the best methods at a low budget all the way up to a high budget of around 500 to 1 million coins. So if you guys do find that helpful and enjoy the video please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. You can also join my FIFA Discord server the link is in the description. Thanks guys and let's get straight into it. Now before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FIFA 22 coins, completely safe and reliable. If you use code MANZA at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Okay, so when starting out on a low budget, on the road to 1 million coins, there is two different trading methods which you guys should always be using. The first of which is going to be the Bronze League SPC sniping method. All you need to do is put the quality to bronze and then select one of either the top five leagues. This includes Premier League, Ligue 1, Bundesliga, La Liga Santander or Serie A to either snipe these cards from. For the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to use La Liga Santander. Then all you need to do is go onto the market and find the cheapest buy now of all of these coins. Now due to these cards being required for League SVC, that does tend to mean that they do have a decently expensive buy now on the market for bronze cards. So as you guys can see, these cards are selling for around about 700 coins. What we would do is where well, we would just knock it down around about 100 to 150 coins under to the point where we can be making a decent profit if a deal does pop up and then we can snipe these cards. Very, very simple. All we are waiting for to do is for a deal to pop up and when a does, deal does pop up, obviously it is going to be on an undercut so we will pick that card up and then we know that we can sell it on for 700 coins also on this filter with these cards having a minimum uh, buy now of around about 700 coins you have the opportunity to see these cards at like 200 coins meaning at a low budget you can be making like 500 coins profit per trade which is really good value now if you're not having much success sniping what you can do as well is just do the compare price method this is where all you do is just head over to the 59th minute and just compare price on this card every time you do this you're updating the market as you guys can see these cards are just newly listed and if there is any here for undercuts so well, then all you guys are going to want to do is just buy that card so if one does pop up for 400 coins well we know that is an undercut we know we can get 700 coins so we will pick it up and then sell it on for more now this isn't the only way you can trade with bronze cards the second different way which you guys can be trading with bronze cards is going to be the bronze and uh, bronze rare bidding method all you need to do is put the quality over to bronze rare the maximum price to 150 coins and then search market now you just want to move your joystick across until you can see the league of these cards and then you just want to wait until you see a card with a league SPC. What you will then do is just add this card to your transfer target and continue to place a bid on this card. We know that any card with a league SPC from like the MLS tends to have a value of a minimum of around about 350 coins. So we can see that this guy here goes for a minimum of 350 coins. So if we win him on base value for 150 coins, so then we'll be taking the profit on that card. Now this does tend to work with any card with a league SPC. So Saudi League, if we can win that on bid for 150 coins. MLS again here, we'll just pop a bid on for 150 coins. And if we can win that, well we know we can sell it on for 350. If you guys are struggling with competition when trying to win them on bid for 150, just go back a few pages and then you'll be able to place bids on pretty much uncontested and then you guys can win through on these cards anyway that is going to be basically how to make coins on a low budget now to move on to the next method okay so once you guys have used the low budget trading methods to reach around about 20 or 30 thousand coins this is where we can start moving on to trading with gold cards the first trading method i'm going to be showing you guys is the gold rare shadow method all you need to do is put the maximum price to around about 700 coins and then just the maximum buy now to just whatever you want and then search the market now what this will do is give you a variety of cards and all you want to do is scroll over to the 59th minute and look for the cards which have recently been listed so for example we would have a look at this route salon now, what we would do is go onto the market and find the cheapest buy now of this certain player with the shadow chemistry style applied. So if we've got Rusal on there listed at 2.4, we would go onto the market and see what is the cheapest buy now of Rusal on with the shadow chemistry style applied. So we can see here that it is actually 2.9 thousand coins. This one here at 2.9 thousand coins is going to be the cheapest Rusalon on the market. So what we can do is pick this one up here at 2.4 thousand coins, which is on an undercut, and then go and list this one at 2.8 thousand coins. That still makes it the cheapest on the market, meaning there is still room to make profit. So with this Rusalon 2.8k, well we can go and make a nice little 300 coin profit there. And then the same with this Bailey. Bailey with a shadow goes for 2.5k, so that is going to be very very nice profit there also. Basically, all you guys are doing is just looking for undercuts with these cards with a shadow. Now, anytime there isn't a deal on the 59th minute, all you guys need to do is just back out and then refresh the market. Because as you can see, no new cards have been listed. Okay, no problem. What we can do is just back out, update the max by now. Scroll back over to the 59th minute. And if there has been a new card listed, well, then we can check if that card has been a deal. 
If not, then you guys can always use these cards here. Just make sure there isn't any deals here. Uh, because, obviously, you guys want to be getting as many deals as you can. Now, this filter is relatively uncontested. And if you guys do just learn the prices, you'll be able to see many, many deals. So, as we can see, if we scroll over to the 59th minute and just have a look, what's recently been listed... It says Rudiger here at 2.1 thousand coins, which I know Rudiger with a shadow goes for at least 4 thousand coins. So that would have been a really good deal had we could have popped that card up there. But you guys are just looking for deals like this, which you can pick up and sell on very, very quickly. So alongside the gold rare shadow method, there is also another trading method, which you guys should be using to build up to around about your first 50 thousand coins. That is going to be the position change trading method. All you need to do is look for cards who uh, originally come out of packs in the CDM position and then you guys want to search them in the centre mid position on the market. So let me explain this. For example, a card such as Alan. Well, he comes out of packs normally in the CDM position. So what we would do is go and find his price on the market in the CDM position, which is looking like it's going to be, okay, around about 1.5 thousand coins. But what you guys will see is when we search him in the centre mid position, well, the price increases. Now, this is because the CDM 2 centre mid position modifier is actually extinct on the market meaning that these cards do have an increased value once converted over to center mid because there is still demand for these cards in center mid so what we will do is search for him in in the center mid position and just look for any obvious undercuts on these cards and that is basically the method all you are doing is just searching it so if we find the cheapest buy now of the card with in the center mid position it's looking like it's gonna be around about 5.4k what we are doing is just evaluating here if there's any undercuts. So if the cheapest one out is 5.2k, well, there might be a card listed here for 4,000 coins. Well, then we would want to pick that up, list it for 5,000 coins and take the profit after tax. If there isn't a deal on one card, well, you guys just move on to the next card. So you have a list of these players who originally come out of the packs in CDM. So you just search. Okay, we move on to Layman now. So we can see here 4,000 coins. The next one up is 4.8k. Well, we can pick this one up here for 4,000 coins. List this up on the market for 4.7k and take the profit after tax once this card's sold on. Yeah, again, we've now got a deal on Lamer. What we'll do, well, we'll just move on to the next card. And you just go through these players as quick as you can. Every time, just looking for deals. Okay, there's none up on the market for Zakaria. So there's no need to worry about that. There's no undercuts on that card. So what we will do, yeah, again, just move on to the next player. Okay, now Fred. You guys get the idea. You just continually search through these cards until you guys find deals or undercuts on the market. And when you do, you pick them up and sell them on for more. Very, very simple. You guys maybe have to be patient with some of these cards when selling them on because obviously there is a lower demand as these players are not in their original position however people do still need these cards for their teams so these cards will still sell on if you guys do are patient anyway time to move on to the next trading method the silver team of the week trading method is going to be the final trading method of the medium budget which i show in this video now this method is perfect to take you guys from around about fifty thousand coins all the way up to uh, between 100 and 150,000 coins. However, it can be used at a higher budget. All you want to do is put the quality to silver team of the week and then find the cheapest buy out of them on the market. So for me currently, it the cheapest buy out is going to be around about 25,000 coins. You guys are obviously going to want to be aware of the cheapest buy out when you are using this method, obviously as the prices may change. What you guys do is just find the cheapest buy out. So it is going to be, yep, about 25,000 coins as we knew from before. You then would just go to the market and just compare price back out on these cards. Now, every time you're doing this, you are refreshing the market, giving the opportunity for new cards to be listed. So, for example, if we compare price and then back out and a new card here gets listed for 20,000 coins, well, we can see that's a blatant undercut. So, we can pick that up, one up for 20,000 coins and then relist it on the market to 25,000 coins. Now, something to note about these cards is that they do have quite a high demand due to them uh, working in SBCs as Team of the Week cards. So, that is why their price can fluctuate massively these cards uh, work at any price whether they're at 15,000 coins or at 25,000 coins it doesn't matter the method still works all you want to do as well is just obviously put an undercut on the price to where you can make sufficient profit and then just start sniping these cards any deal which you do pop up obviously because you've already adjusted the price filters will be an undercut and you can make profit on that card so you guys will just want to pick it up and then try and sell it on so this one here 17.5 thousand coins well that is an 8k undercut on the cheapest buy out of these cards if we were quick and did successfully manage to successfully win this card well we could have been looking at 8,000 coins profit on that card but you guys can see the deals which can pop up you guys can also try and win these cards on bid if you are looking to make some extra coins if you're not having successful sniping so you would just search silver team of the week on the market look for a card of the bid on it add to your transfer targets and try and work out what you could win this card on bid for very very simple and that is going to be the perfect way to build your coin balance up in the final stages of the medium budget range okay so you guys have finally got around about 150,000 coins which is where we can 
move on to the highest budget training methods in today's video, which is going to involve icon cards. <clears throat> Now, first starting out, you guys are just going to want to put the quality to Icon. We will trade with Icon Moments cards later, but for now, just to Icon. The maximum price to around about 67,500 coins. I tend to work best. However, you guys can have this up to anything about 70,000 coins. Still works well. And then the total coin total, which you guys do have at the moment. So if you're doing this with around about 150,000 coins, you would just put it as that. You would then search the market and scroll all the way over to the 59th minute. This may take a little bit of time, but it is definitely worth it. Once you guys do get to the 59th minute, what you are going to be looking for is the cards which have just been recently listed onto the market. So for example, this Desai here. And what you would do is compare the price and find the cheapest buy now of these cards. So we find the cheapest buy now of this Desai, which is looking like it's going to be around about 145,000 coins. And immediately this Desai here listed at 130,000 coins, well that would have been a deal. Obviously, 145,000 coins, that is a 15k undercut here with this card at 130k. So if we could have picked that up, we could have listed it for 145k and taken the profit after tax. But that is officially just the deals which you guys are looking for on this filter. Yeah, again, same premise goes for this Haji. We would look for the cheapest by now. Okay, his cheapest by now is 73,000 coins, meaning this isn't a deal. All good. If there isn't any deals, all you guys would do is just back out, change the price filters a little bit, and then search over to the 59th minute. This would have updated the market, so when you guys get back to the 59th minute, there will be new cards that have been listed. For example, this uh, Campbell hit at 70,000 coins. You guys would then find the cheapest by now of this card, which, okay, that isn't a deal, so we'll move on to the next one. Zambrotta, 102,000 coins. Is this going to be a big undercut? Nope, okay, no problem. And you guys just continue cycling through these cards, looking for any deals. And if you do find any deals, obviously you are going to want to pick them up. It is important to take in the uh, thing with tax with these cards. When they have a value of like 100,000 coins, obviously there is going to be 5,000 coins tax. So you guys do want to take that into account when buying cards to make profit. Also, with these cards being icon cards, you do have to be pretty quick to buy the deals as there is a lot of people looking at them due to obviously them being decent cards and obviously one of the most effective high budget training methods in the game. But that, guys, is just going to be how to trade with base icon cards. Now, you'd use this method all the way up until you get to around about 150,000 coins. Now, once you get to around about 100, uh, not 150,000 coins, once you get to about, no, about 500,000 coins, this is where we would move on to training with Icon Moments cards. Now, for this, what trade filters you want to do is put the maximum price to around about 100,000 coins and then the maximum buy now to the amount of coins you currently have. So, say we're trading with 500k. We will then search the market and very similar to the method we've just done, we will then scroll across to the 59th minute. Now, once we get to the 59th minute, very, very similar to what we've just done, we'll look for the cards which have most recently been listed. So, for example, this Van Persie here at 210k. We would look for the cheapest buy now of this card and see if it is an undercut. If it is an undercut, well, then we would work out the uh, tax on that card and then decide if there's enough profit to be made on that trade. If there isn't any deals, all we would do, back out. Update the price filters, very similar to the recent method we've just used, just this time with Icon Moments cards at a higher budget. Scroll back over to the 59th minute. Once we get back to the 59th minute, look for any cards which have just recently been listed. Okay, this Ian right here at 98k. Is this an undercut? Not this time. Okay, but deals can pop up and you guys can make tens of thousands of coins on this filter, obviously with them being at a higher budget. And this, guys, is just going to be the best training method to boost you from around about 500,000 coins to millions of coins in FIFA 22 during Ultimate Tots. Anyway, guys, if today's video did help you out, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA content. You can also join my FIFA 22 Discord server, the link to which is in the description. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.